divine determination to do whatever it takes to deliver God's people. Why is this here? I think it's here because many people have not found a God big enough for our modern problems. If you had a bigger God, you wouldn't worry as much. 
If you had a bigger God, you would be stronger in the moment of crisis. If you had a bigger God, you would be less tempted to compromise. But that brings us to the final portion of the scripture. Let me see if I can get there real quick. Then, the testimony. I will wait patiently for the day of calamity to come on the nation invading us. Wait, what did he say? Oh. Do you remember at the beginning of, of, of this dissertation as Habakkuk was having a conversation with God and he was, it seemed like they had a little dis disagreement. And then a disagreement, he finally comes to this point and says, you know, I'm going to go to my post, I'm going to stand on the rampart and see how I respond when he corrects me. Amen? I'm going to see how he corrects me. I'm going to see how I respond. See, this is a backwards way of saying, I get it, Lord. The Babylonians are coming to attack us. They're going to come and, oh, you're going to judge them. I'm going to wait for that day to come. As it turns out, Habakkuk most likely didn't live long enough because Babylon would have not fallen for almost 70 more years. But it doesn't matter. Because when we read his testimony, here's what he's saying. I got it, Lord. Message received. Perhaps Habakkuk. I don't think he's mentioned in, in Hebrews chapter 11, is he? It sounds like maybe he might have had a place there. Having never received the promise, but he believed it. We don't know. I don't know that to be the case because we don't have the history to know that he passed before all this took place. You see, the word rejoice. Hmm. Well, let me, go, let me get back to the verses here. Verse 17 and 18. Because it shows us that what faith looks like when life is just absolutely falling apart around us. Listen to this. Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crop fails, and the fields produce no food, Though there is no sheep in the pen, no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Savior. Though I didn't find my brand of bread at the Walmart, though I went to Barney's and they didn't have my cut of 